Before we continue on learning about HTTP and what exactly is inside of error, response, and body, I want to take a quick moment to talk about how we can pretty print an object to the screen. As we saw in the last video, when we ran our app with node, app.js, the body prints to the screen, but since there is a lot of objects nested inside of each other, JavaScript starts clipping them. It tells us an object is here, but we don't get to see exactly what the properties are. This takes place for address components, geometry, and types. Obviously, this is not useful. What we want to do is see exactly what's in the object. To explore all of the properties, we're going to look at a way to pretty print our objects. This is going to require a really simple function call to a function we've actually already used, json.stringify. json.stringify. This is the function that takes your JavaScript objects, which body is. Remember, we use JSON true to tell request to take the JSON and convert it into an object. Right here, we're taking that object, passing it in, and providing the arguments. Now, this is how we've usually used JSON.stringify in the past. We provided just one argument, the object we want to stringify. In this case, we're going to provide a couple other arguments. The next argument is used to filter out properties. We don't want to use that. I've actually never used it. It's usually useless. So I'm going to leave it as undefined for the moment. The reason we need to provide it is because the third argument is the thing we want. The third argument is going to format the JSON and you're going to specify exactly how many spaces you want to use per indentation. You could go with two or four, depending on your preference. I'm going to go ahead and pick two, save the file and rerun it from the terminal. When we stringify our JSON and print it to the screen, as you're going to see, when you rerun the app, we get the entire object showing up. None of the properties are clipped off. Here we can see the entire address components array. Everything shows up no matter how complex it is. Down below, we have our geometry object. This is where our latitude and longitude are stored, and you can see them right here. Also, down below that, we have our types, which was cut off before even though it was an array with one item, which is a string. And now that you know how to pretty print your objects, it's going to be a lot easier to scan data inside of the console. None of your properties are going to get clipped and it's formatted in a way that makes the data a lot more readable. And that is it for this one. Just a quick tip on how you can format objects when you want to print them to the console. Stay tuned. I will see you next time as we start diving into HTTP and all of the arguments in our callback.